Sodium hydroxide is one of the important chemicals of industrial use. This must be handled carefully because it is caustic to touch and causes painful burns. It is commonly known as caustic soda. Sodium hydroxide is now manufactured by an electrolytic process, known as Kastner-Kellner's process. First of all we will discuss the structure plan of the electrolytic cell. The electrolytic cell is composed of two chambers upper portion or electrolytic cell and lower portion or denoter. Titanium anodes are hanged in upper electrolytic portion. While flowing layer of mercury at the bottom acts as cathode. Graphite block is present at denoter which is the lower portion. As a result of electrolysis chlorine gas is obtained from the upper portion whereas, sodium hydroxide and hydrogen gas are collected separately from the lower portion. Flowing cathode that is mercury will be recycled for the next batch. Now we are discussing the working of the Kastner-Kellner process. Concentrated solution of sodium chloride which is called brine is sent to the upper electrolytic portion where it is ionized to sodium positive ions and chloride negative ions. On passage of electricity ions move towards their respective electrodes. Cations towards cathode and anions towards anode. Chloride ions are oxidized at anode and chlorine gas is liberated from the top. Sodium positive ions move towards cathode which is flowing mercury. Reduction of cations result the sodium metal which there combine with mercury forming amalgam. Amalgam flows to the lower chamber. At denuder sodium from amalgam reacts with water resulting sodium hydroxide and hydrogen gas. Both are collected separately. Hydrogen gas is easily liberated over graphite surface. Solution of sodium hydroxide is evaporated to dryness and mercury is recycled and pumped to upper chamber for the production of next batch. Now summing up the overall cell reaction of anode and cathode. When brine is subjected to electrolysis first step is the ionization of the salt. It results sodium positive ions and chloride negative ions. Chloride ions are oxidized and by the loss of electrons it forms chlorine gas over anode. Sodium ions are reduced at cathode by the gain of electrons and form metallic sodium. This sodium metal mixes with liquid mercuric cathode resulting amalgam. Amalgam flows to the denuder where it reacts with water forming sodium hydroxide and hydrogen gas. Advantages of the process The process is very efficient. Sodium hydroxide obtained is highly pure. Reduction of Na positive ions occur in preference to hydroxyl negative ions over mercury surface. Possible reaction between sodium hydroxide and chlorine gas is avoided because they are obtained at separate portions of the cell. Disadvantages of the process. It consumes large amount of electricity. Mercury vapors in spite of strict control escapes and kills animals and plants. So, this process is replaced by Gibbs diaphragm cell which does not use mercury.